Welcome, Whiskey Ball. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, the Killionaire. So first, uh, Rob Frederick, who is a, a, a don has been donating bottles, mm -hmm. also donated a bottle we've already reviewed from Hotel Tango Bourbon, ready to drink bourbon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So for that, he's a benevolent bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the bottle is at the very, 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 very top, and I just forgot about well, it until just now. You gotta have the bottle. So I'm going to get it. You gotta, you gotta yeah. have the bottle. I'm so. not saying I don't want to get it. I'm saying. I so forgot. We're gonna do a time lapse. We're gonna see how we're gonna see how still I can stand. Okay. This time lapse. Ready? Go. Cue the elevator music. <laughs> so, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> Rob Frederick is a benevolent bastard. Rob Frederick, you benevolent bastard. <laughs> I was okay. trying not to blink. I got one blink in there. I yeah. Not to, I don't want to cry. Never let him see you cry, Daniel. Now that's, that's the rule. Who's the them exactly? I don't know. Uh, this is a gift from patron saint. Only one away from Titan. Chat up church. Chat up church. You patron saint of whiskey. Some good ringing. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, yeah, this is Whitmire's, which yes. we've done before as a Houston distillery. Yes. What category are we in? This is malt. Malt. Now they have mostly focused on sourcing and blending, and then making some of their own stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is theirs. I see a fifty-five point five. Seventeen. Is that cask? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably. Yeah. I don't know to be sure. Fifty-five point five percent. But it's a single barrel. Oh yeah, barrel proof, uncut, unfiltered. Nice. Uh, bottle 47 of only 89 bottles. Okay, that was... 55.5% alcohol. Was it like a 15? What? No, that's gotta be bigger than 15. What size barrel do you think that is? Well, no, it could be 15. You get, no, 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 because, no, uh... Yeah. I don't know. Is there a barrel size between 15 and 53? I mean, that's there a lot of loss, there otherwise. Has there has to be. Uh, it anyway. Is. This is barrel number PB347. Mm -hmm. Or P8347. Hogshead? Isn't a hogshead in between? No, no, no. Hogshead is the generic. It's basically a basically a bourbon barrel. All right. Nah. <laughs> I hear what you say. Nah. Okay. Orange. Right. Okay. Uh, a funky orange. Funky huh? orange, yes. Like a bar like barley funk. Mm -hmm. That malty barley funk. I do get the orange. Um, chocolate orange, like a Terry's chocolate orange. That's a stretch for me, the chocolate orange? Yeah, I got in the, when I got a little bit sideways on it, there's this dark, bitter chocolate note. Yeah, there's a slight vegetation quality to it. Man, even at 17 months, this is not even two years old. What? That's... But okay. it doesn't yeah. smell super young. Texas. It's definitely barley forward. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's malt. And... I wonder if this is a roasted malt, because I'm getting these like roasty chari notes, like mm -hmm. toasted marshmallow, mm -hmm. or like a toasted orange chocolate. Yeah, you getting that that vegetation layer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a little bit of a honey with that barley granola. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely lively with the proof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. What did that just do? Oh, it was like a peanut brittle. Yeah, it just flushed really densely honeyed peanut brittle and then sort of went. Yeah. Huh. That was not the taste I was expecting from No, those. not at all. Mm. I don't hate it. I don't yeah. either. Yeah. It's got a very short finish and it just sort of goes. It does. Evaporates. I think I attribute a lot of that to the youngness. Yeah. Mm. But that big initial flush of flavor, the dominant thing I was getting with it, it was getting the peanut brittle. There's some honey mixed in there. And then going back to the nose. Yeah, there's a little bit more of a tea quality on the nose now. Mm. Second one, if you push it a little bit around, it gets a little more tannic. I would say he got this out of the barrel just in time, actually. Mm -hmm. Much longer than the tannins really would have pushed forward. Okay. I am very curious about that single barrel, bottle 47 of 89. Yeah, I, I really... Um, <clears throat> Do you think they just had it... Tremendous amount of headspace. Well, hang on. That's a many, tremendous amount of headspace. So, 
80, 90 divided by five is, you know, so that, let's, that's really only barrel proof, single barrel, got 89 It's bottles. less than 20 gallons. Okay, in something like this, uh -huh. where you have 89 bottles, whenever you're saying of 89, does that mean the number of bottles that were released to the public? But they no, could no. have another... I would think another... that's of the bottling run. Okay, but, 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 you know, if one, I of the, was... one of the things we do for the team is whenever we do a, a project, a distillation, a bottling, if they work for us and they can claim one of those bottles as a yeah. perk for working here. Right. So I'm thinking maybe <laughs> the people that worked here, a bunch of people will claim bottles and they're left with an 89 for public release and that's why it says 89. Or does that number need to be basically the total number of bottles? A total number of bottles. I okay. Think. I, I mean, if, if I'm just going off of what seems most obvious. That's a, it's a detail. It's a weird number. It is young, mm -hmm. but... The way that it's developed in that relatively short period of time, it's very quick to finish, but I kind of dig that peanut brittle note with a bit of a hot honey vibe. As I come back to the nose, it's even more and more of oven roasted, sweetened, like, uh, like you ever get, oh, oh, oh. Have you ever gone in the fairgrounds when you get to the stands with like the sugared cinnamon sugar pecans or yeah. cinnamon sugar walnuts yeah, and yeah. it's like roasted versions of yeah. nuts and... This is one of those. When I pick it up, I smell hmm. opening the bag on one of the cinnamon sugar ones. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't get the cinnamon so much. toasted walnuts. But the toasted nuts yeah. with a bit of a sugary, basically you caramelize the sugars around these toasted nuts. It's very good. I like mm -hmm. them. I'm going to add a little water. Mm -hmm. But I, I actually kind of enjoy that. There's a bit of a tannic tea note that Do you want your water? Up. Yeah, it just drops because I have so little oh. left in there. That was literally two drops. Good job. <laughs> do, you, do you want more than that? Uh, one and a half more drops. See if you can do it. Ah, wow. Well, no, that was three. Way more. Way more. That was three drops. All right. Now we're half water at this point, but it'll definitely be different. We'll see. Okay. It woke up some of that. There's an oaty, like a green, yeah. the oats that you'd find in a granola. Those are coming up. Yeah. Like a fresh porridge. Mm hmm. Ah, it didn't oh. taste as good. It got a little bit more like. Like a roasted coffee. It got simpler for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have comparatively quite a bit more water yeah. than you proportionally. But it got simpler, it got sweeter, but I think it got more accessible, more inviting to more people if it was proofed down a bit more. Yeah, probably. It's, it's less interesting, but yeah, it's, it's definitely... A... I prefer it before water. I would agree. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, see your version with water? Mm -hmm. You dump some in there? Mm -hmm. Whenever you had as much water as I had, it was nicer than the few drops you put mm, in yours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't okay. go far enough is what you're saying. Yeah, you dilute it more and it gets nicer. But that halfway in between step you did, not so much. Rob Souter, Souter. Too much nonsensical chatter. Mm. You must be lost, Rod. Yeah. <laughs> lost. Every once in a while we get one of those right. and it's on a random video too. It's never the ones that are actually long. Right. For no reason. Mm -hmm. It's always someone that's like, wow, that's... I uh, want my whiskey to go seriously. By serious people. Have you ever Girl. felt so annoyed by a video that you went out of your way to comment negatively? No. Me either. Yeah, I just... I just What's the motivating factor? What's the change? From like, that video is stupid. I'm going to watch something else. To, I'm going to pause, hit comment, no. say something, blah, you're stupid, and then move on. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think a lot about that. I no, I just, I'm just wondering. I have yeah. no idea. I've never thought of it. Like, I, yeah. I, I think there could be an interesting answer, but I just don't care enough. I see it when people get annoyed if they feel like they're invested in something and it's changed in a way they don't like. Sure. That I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like someone we've, who obviously... We've always been nonsensical mm -hmm. chatter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Dimitri80... <clears throat> Silva. Oh, these are two questions that are basically the same thing. Can someone tell me where I can get myself one of those chains? What? So, well, the chain you can get. Flavor Flav Fan Club. Medallic, yeah, Medallic Art Com Inc. Company. They're a, a, brown, a bronze foundry, mm -hmm. and they sell the chains. Uh, but. Yes, what's the deal with the sweet pimp medallion you wear in your videos? Because I want one. Is, yeah. it a, is it a sommelier thing? Josh the yes. tail. Yes. So the whiskey marketing school, which we rarely talk about in here, which is uh, you guys are making some inroads, some uh, some partnerships, all with kinds. some other educational programs in the whiskey space. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of cool shit coming Things down the road. Happening. Things are happening. But we do uh, at whiskey marketing school. We do two or three level one courses a year that get you the medallion. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, graduating from that, the next one's in August. Yeah, what are they, like two I day think. classes, three day classes? Two day classes. Two day classes, on site, in yep. the tower, yep. presenters. And when you graduate- And we... more whiskey than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> yeah, when you graduate, we open the doors to the vault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the Psalm graduates get the code hmm? to the vault. I, I still don't have the code. No. Here's the thing, I say that you because, didn't... I say that because yeah. people assume, well, they don't want to give the Moosh code. I've been given the code yeah. Scores of times. Yeah, but it's very it. complicated. <laughs> yeah, I've not committed the code to memory. Uh, yeah. There's well, an eight. There's an eight in there. No, there's really not. <laughs> it's like the one there's number that's really not, not in there. an eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's not a single repeated number, but there's not an eight. There's a, there's a one. And there's six digits. There's a one. Yes, there's a one. A nine. Yes. Okay. I got this. Can You're you one, one third of the way there. <laughs> yeah. And the order <laughs> is going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so. The youngness is apparent. Yeah, but not as much as you would think, yes. but it definitely is a, a eliminating its really long finish that I was looking mm -hmm. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's very rich. But, yes, <clears throat> and that first flush of flavor was peanut brittle mm -hmm. for me, and then it started pulling back the curtain on some other stuff uh, as I got deeper into it. Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. I dig it. I dig it. Here's fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, May you fight for a if friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.